Hi, this is Professor Wolber from AppInventor.org. I am going to show you part two in this PaintPot app. And we've already kind of set up our user interface. Okay, we've got these buttons and we've got this canvas we're going to be able to draw on, right? And now I'm going to show you how to do the behavior for this app. So I'm going to click on Blocks. Um, and typically, early on in my app building process, I like to connect my phone. So we, we could kind of see how the app looked in the designer, but you can actually test on your phone as you go. So at this point, you probably just want to say connect and say connect to companion. And with App Inventor 2, you have to download an app. It's called the MIT um, AI2 Companion. You need to get that up on your phone. And once you have it, you'll be able to connect your um, whatever app you're building to it by just scanning this barcode. So you don't need anything on your computer with App Inventor 2, but you do need one app on your phone or your tablet. And once you get it, scan this guy and you'll see your app running immediately. It's a great way to test your apps. Now what I'm going to do is, is you know, in order to show this video to you, I'm going to actually connect to the emulator. Okay, so I'm going to connect on to emulator and I'm going to be able to show you this app on this kind of fake Android device that runs right on my computer. So here's the emulator and it uh, shows what was on our designer, right? It gives you a the, you know this will this will actually be what shows up on on your phone. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is show the behavior. First thing I'm going to do is let's just make it so I can draw some dots on the screen. Okay, so I want to work with the canvas component. So I'm going to come down here to canvas, and I'm going to grab not the drag but the touched event. Okay, so I'm going to pull the touched event out, and you'll notice it tells me the x y coordinate of where the canvas is touched. Okay. And what I'm going to want to do is draw a, a circle right, right there. So I'm going to go back to Canvas, and it's got a couple functions to use. One is called Draw Circle, another one's called Draw Line. We'll see that in a second. But I'm going to drag this Draw Circle out. Okay, it's a little confusing because there's two XYs here. This XY is where the person has has touched down uh, on on the phone. Okay. This X, X, Y is where we want to draw a circle. Now, actually, we want, to, we want to draw the circle right where they touch down. Okay, in App Inventor 2, getting these parameter values is a little different than in App Inventor 1. The way you do it is you go over to this variable section and you grab a get block. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and stick that in for X. I'm going to grab another one for my Y. Okay, and what I'm going to want to do is choose this arrow and choose X and then choose this arrow, choose Y. And notice when I when I choose this arrow, it shows you all the kind of parameters that are available to use. In this case, what we're saying is, I want to draw the circle at the exact location where the user touched the canvas. Okay, for the radius, I'm going to go ahead and just grab a number, and I'm going to put in the number five. Okay, so essentially what I'm saying is, when the user touches the canvas, draw a circle right where they touched, and make it with radius 5. Okay, so let's go back to our emulator. If I touch down, good, I've got these circles that get, that get drawn. Okay, notice they're all black, right? We haven't done anything with our color buttons yet, so that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so let me kind of move this canvas touched event over a little bit. And the next thing we need to do is deal with these buttons. So when red button is clicked, I want to make it so the circles get drawn red. Okay? And the way we have to do it is change the canvas's paint color. That's one of its properties. Okay, so when red button is clicked, what I'm going to want to do is change canvas's paint color. So I'm going to go over to canvas, and this is also a little different. Um, this is how I get to all canvas's properties. And notice it says background color, and, and this actually might change. But essentially, you want to grab the block right above the set block. And you're going to be able to drag it out and then choose what property you want. So I'm going to drag this guy out, click that triangle, and I'm going to choose paint color. Okay? And actually, this is the get block. Whoops. I didn't want the get block. I really want to change the paint color. Okay, so I'm going to go back to canvas, go drag down. I don't want to look at the paint color. I want to change it to red. So I'm going to grab this set. Set means change, okay? So I'm going to drag this guy out and go ahead and stick it in my block here. Okay, I don't want to change the background color. I want to change the paint color. This is what things are going to get drawn. Okay, and then I want to change that color to, in this case, red. 
Okay, and, and that's all set. And now, now that error goes away. Okay, so when the red button is clicked, change the canvas paint color to red. And then we're going to copy this guy. This is another advantage of App Inventor 2. I can clock, uh, copy these event blocks, and then I can change to any button I've already defined. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the green button, and then I can come over here and click this guy, and I'll choose green. Okay, and I can copy this guy again. I'm using Command C and then Command V to paste. And I can choose green button and change it to blue button, and then click back on the color over here. And I'm going to do that again. Let's see, there we go. And then I can choose blue. Okay, so I've got my three color buttons set up where they'll change the paint color. Let's test that real quick. If I go to the emulator, I've got all my black buttons. Click on red, and now I've got red. Click on green, green and click on blue and I get my blue buttons. Okay, so so far I've got this top row of buttons working. I can draw circles. Next thing I'm going to do is show you how to draw lines and then we'll also fix make, make these buttons work.